Well, hello there, everybody. I realized that this is not a Monday, so it's not Monday moments, but maybe we can call it a Take Two Tuesday or something. I realized when I was looking at the old um, Monday moments that the last time that we've been together through this is Halloween on October 31st. And so it's almost a whole darn month since we've done this. And part of it is because I became a statistic. I got the old COVID bug and it really knocked me on my tail for a while. So still kind of. So anyway, um, we're back and we're at them again. So this week we have we celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday. And it's often a time that we take stock of our many blessings that God has given us in our life. I know in my family, and I know a lot of other families that do this, when they're starting to say the meal prayer before their big meal, they go around the table and they say one thing that they're thankful for during the year. So again, faith, family, friends, and work often kind of sift to the top of the list. But do we ever stop and take the time to consider those things that we are thankful for that aren't so pleasant in our lives. So what does that mean? Well, this Thanksgiving poem by an unknown author offers us the opportunity to broaden our horizons. So it goes, be thankful. Be thankful that you don't already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and your character. Be thankful for your mistakes. Well, I have a hard time with that one, but be thankful for your mistakes because they will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means that you've made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for their setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. It's a new perspective, isn't it? Um, I don't know that, you know, if somebody has a broken leg that they would pray in thanksgiving for their broken leg because it's taught them patience or whatever but it might help you know i think everything that happens in our lives it's a it's something that can teach us and it eventually will become a blessing for us so our discussion questions or reflection questions for this week are what is something from your life that you thought was an obstacle but actually turned out to be a true blessing for you what are you thankful for this year? How do we show our sense of gratitude and appreciation for the blessings in our lives? As I was preparing for these, I, you know, I don't just throw them out for you. I take the time to do this myself. But uh, a week ago, Monday, my brother had a quadruple bypass down in Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, that was a pretty traumatic thing for our whole family. We were all kind of sitting on pins and needles until he made it through. And then afterwards, you know, is he going to be okay? And so that, that wasn't a pleasant experience for all of us. But in, in the end, it really truly was because all of my siblings and I, I, we were all texting together. And during that time, it really was that our texts were all about how lucky we were that God is a part of our lives and that we do have faith and that our faith does pull us through. And so, you know, it was really kind of a neat thing that it drew us all together, I think, in an even stronger way. So we've been praying a lot for him. I think that in a way has brought us together. So just think about it this week. So just to let you know, um, we will continue to pray for anything that you have prayers, intentions for. Uh, make sure that you send a note on um, either through Facebook or however you send your notes. But know that we will keep you in prayer this week, especially as you gather with family. Another thing is, you know, a lot of people often look forward to uh, the holiday seasons and the you know the glitz and the the bells and the whistles with all of the lights and the you know just the nostalgia and all that 
well, sometimes holidays are hard for people. And so I know this year, it actually falls on the day and on Thanksgiving. My mom died six years ago on the 24th and it was Thanksgiving that year too. So Thanksgiving kind of has turned into a bittersweet time for me. Mom used to love to make a great big, huge Thanksgiving meal. So I always think of her with that. But then with her death, it's just kind of been a different little twist. So anyway, we're, we're in with you with prayer for whatever comes your way this holiday season. So let us pray. Loving God, during this time of counting our blessings, we realize that all is gift from you. You bless us with enough gifts to cheer us and enough obstacles to realize that you love us and want us to grow. Help us to always be mindful to thank you for all the blessings of our days, even those we might not consider to be blessings at the time. Watch over those who do not have their needs met and will go hungry this Thanksgiving. Give us generous hearts to reach out where we can to help our neighbors. And we ask these things through Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and have a happy Thanksgiving.